I'll be right back, all right? I'm just going to get Tammy so she can introduce herself, all right? Okay. I'll be right back. Text that you might have remembered some more stuff. Yeah, so let's do your phones first. Um, I need to. They gave me a piece of paper to transfer my contacts. Wouldn't do it for me, but. You should be able to just put them on the iCloud. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> they said to follow this app. I can't even find the app store on this phone. Is it uh, Android? Yeah. So strange. I um I tried to transfer all the stuff from this one to this one last night and started thinking up like old text, like stuff I don't even have saved in here. Or any of them from Chris? Yeah, a few, but not many. It's pretty short. There's like ten or twelve and there's like a few from those days, but most of it is Hi. Hello. Tammy. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Stacy Galbraith. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? All right. Getting through it? Trying. Yeah. Stressing out. Stressing out. Yeah, you look stressed out. <laughs> Did you get some therapy figured out? I'm waiting for you guys to get back to me on that, but I'm trying to. Yeah. Does Hazel need to? Yeah, we're going to see if Hazel comes in. We're, so, Weld County is just. I had to write a letter yesterday <coughs> for Weld County to approve. Uh, to pay for her treatment. Oh. And then it's got to go through a board because it's kind of unusual. Yeah. Uh, since she's not an eyewitness. Right. But uh, it sounded like there was not going to be any opposition to it. It's just a process. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so it's when you go through the text messages, Tammy and probably Stacy will be there. Okay. So you guys know each other. Okay. Um, or if they reach out to you, you know that they're not the media. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me your card? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Okay. I got to one. I just, Thank and now you. with this new phone, it's like I got so many numbers that I, I'm sure I can figure so out who they are. I need to just deal with that. Like, if you guys can help me get all of my contacts from this phone. To so I can get a tech guy maybe to help help me? Because well, I'm mad at it too. He gave me instructions so on. So this is your old phone? This is the one that I use for communication. This is the one that's going to you guys. Okay. This one's mine. This is nicer. I know. <laughs> iPhones suck. I'm kind of relieved to have this back. Okay, so you're going to, you want to move contacts from there to there? That's all I want to do. Once you guys do that, then you guys can have this phone. I mean, he gave me a, a way to do it, so I think I need to connect to Wi-Fi, and then I need to download this app, and then I think once I download it, I can sync it up. And I need to just download the app on both phones. So let me get a guy who knows about Wi-Fi. Is your password still 653038? Yeah, that hasn't changed. So that's going to be that one. And which which one is getting all the new text messages? Your new phone? Mm -hmm. I only got a few, and they're like, now I get what you're saying. Like, they're out of order, they're scrambled, they're missing. They don't make sense. I got super excited when I saw them because I was like, maybe it'll be all of them, but it's not. So, <clears throat> maybe what I'll ask, we have a device that maybe we can download that too. This one too? Mm -hmm. Alright. I mean, I don't know if that'll work, but we can try it. Here's yeah. mine. Thank you for yours. Thank you. And then Kevin knows how to get a hold of us after hours, and then I'm going to do that too. I appreciate that. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you okay. giving her a spare phone? Is that she what you has doing? her own spare phone, but when she linked her accounts, a bunch of messages between her and Chris were recovered on her new phone. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have to probably just celebrate right now. Oh, okay. On, on her new phone, so we don't have to take all her phones. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. <laughs> okay. Are you good in here for a bit? Okay. Do you have a monitor or anything? Please. Okay. Okay, so App Store.
here in just a few minutes, okay? Thank you.
that guy's that guy's coming to help us. I just I would do it myself, but it's like there's so many different. No, I haven't used this phone in years. Okay. Like right now, my so it's not phone. very new. This is old. Okay. I haven't used this since like 2016, and so all these numbers on here are numbers of people I've gotten since then. What I don't want is with like the media and all this other stuff going on is have a phone just full of unknown contacts. Sure, I get it. Like, so he's gonna come over and turn your Wi-Fi on and figure out how to move. He knows okay. about this. Do that. I give up. Okay. So your phone this time, do you have any objections to us looking at everything in your phone? Why do you even need that? I'm just curious. Like, why do you need everything as opposed to stuff so we, in there? Well, because it's easier to get it. And we, if we're looking at all the material, let's say I take everything off your phone, I can put a date in, like let's say August 10th through the 15th, because those are critical days. Uh -huh. But other conversations between you and Chris, or other text messages between you and Chris from uh, June or July, then it makes it harder for me to find all those. Do you understand what I mean? It's easier well, for them to just take number, everything. Okay. I don't know. Are they? Yeah. I mean, except for when I first met him, and it was his APC thing. Okay. And but then what about uh, your phone log? It's always his nine yeah, M zero number. number. All the time. All right. Like it's and always that we, one, or originally it was his. We talked about one. your GPS. Uh, looking like knowing where your phone is yeah. at certain times. I mean, you guys can have all that. I just was like, oh my god, I have so many texts on here between me and all my friends. I'm like, do they really want all this stuff? Well, is there anything in those texts that you'd be concerned with? Not really. So, well, not really or yes or no? No, I mean, like, I the other day, my dad and I just had to do some damage control because a lot of people were like, hey, please call me, I don't know what to say, and I just told them all, like, I didn't say anything. I pretty much just said, if media just contact you, tell them no comment. I was like, please be nice to them. Like, you do not need to talk to them. I was like, I'm safe. I'm not in trouble. I'm in breaking laws. And I was just like, just send your love and support. And that was all I said to people. So did that prompt all the phone calls of people going, no, are you okay? They were prompting me. Right. That is why I did that. Because I didn't even want to like say that, but I was getting all sorts of texts from people that were like, media is trying to contact me. I don't know what to do. I didn't tell them that I was a witness. I didn't tell them anything about that. It was just like, just say no comment. I need you to do this. Okay. And then a couple of my like super super close friends, I asked them if they would be courteous enough to take all the pictures that we had of each other off Facebook and social media, and they said yes. And that was like a couple of really close friends. Is there any text messages between you and friends that reference anything that would be concerning regarding this case? No. Like talking about Chris. I think you've told me that you've never even really talked with my friends about him. No, and like my friend's dad died last night, like yesterday. I'm not worried about that. No, I know, but she started like, oh my god, she was really drunk last night. She started like freaking out. She's like, I don't know what's going on in your life. She's like, I don't know if it pertains to this case. And she like just sent me like a screenshot of a news article of that case. And she was just like, so she's like, what about conversation? I, I didn't mention that it w had anything to do with that. She's like, I don't know if that's what it is. He works in the dark ghost. She's like, I really don't give a shit. She's like, I just really need you to be here with me and my dad and this and this and this. And she was just kind of upset because I had asked her um, to please say no comment to the media. And it happened to be like right when her dad died. And I think she was feeling a little like... Yeah, but I mean, you guys can read this. There's nothing in there of me actually saying anything about it. I just told What's your phone number on that phone? 720. It's the same phone number that's on this one. Okay. 6569605. So, no. I mean, you guys can... You guys can... Look so, between... It, there was a conversation that I asked you about between you and Charlotte, too. That's the same girl. That same girl who was freaking out. Yeah. So, was there ever a conversation about kids with you and Charlotte? Like, you... I can't remember the exact context, but I guess we're talking. I was hanging out with a guy who had kids. Okay. And um, what? she has not even like. Okay. All right. Any so your conversation about him having kids, how did that go? I mean, I don't know. I just told her. She, uh, is it still? Kids. Did you yeah, delete yeah, that, or is no, it still? No, no, no. I don't. 
I, I have no reason to delete anything else on my phone. Okay. And the reason I deleted all this stuff with Chris is because he was making me feel really uncomfortable, and I didn't want to see it in my phone anymore. Okay. Um, yeah, let me scroll all the way back here. We're in the scroll talk a lot. No, she is like... So let's just, while we're here, because we talked about this before, but we didn't talk about the specific context of what that message said regarding the children. So obviously, in the situation that we're looking at now with uh, the death of two children and all the other circumstantial stuff going around in the case, it, you, I just want to make sure there was no comments ever made by you regarding, you know, children or dislike of children or love of children. Either way, Do you, you know what I mean? So it, it's easier for me to just take everything than it is to single it out. Plus, for the purposes of this case, the less exposure, you know, we're, we already have a, initially you drew concern from me when you told me you deleted everything from Chris. I've already told you that. You understand why? There's no question as to why that might cause concern. So if there's anything else that ever comes up, I have it, and then we can just discuss it. Do you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. It's right here. This is where it starts. <coughs> she starts right there. She starts talking about her and her fiance. So that was like weeks ago. brought it up since really or like connected the dots or like said shit. I mean you guys can look through all those texts. And I don't know when that was. That was definitely when things were going good. So this is like weeks prior I'm just assuming. I think the day is at the top of whenever we started texting that day. Okay. Looks, this is. We talk a lot. August 7th. Yeah. So, I re reference everything to Sunday the 12th. So, that's the only conversation like that on there, I believe, on my phone. I don't think there's like anything else. And she, even last night, like, still wasn't even. She's. Other than that, there shouldn't really be anything on with other people. But you guys can just pull everything off that corner. As long as you're okay with that, that's what would be I mean, if that makes your life easier. Well, it's not just about making it easier, it's just less. So if there's any question, like I told you before, some, like the two girls you just met did a lot of interviews in this case. They've done a lot of work. They may know things that I don't. Mm -hmm. There's no way we can all know everything. So they might go, oh, because somebody else is the one who told me about Charlotte mm -hmm. um, and this message. So I've never well, read this. Well, that's probably why. Potentially. I'm, I'm assuming that that's yeah. what that is. Because I said his name. And I don't even think she's put two and two together. Because last night, it was just like the way she was talking. She wasn't like, this is him, this is it. She was like, I don't know what's going on. I just assume this is it, cause this guy looked at Anna Darko, but she is not even, like, processing.
What do you mean by can tell he has a lot to take care of in life? What did you mean when you said that? He has a mortgage and he has kids. Okay. And responsibilities. I mean, he's a father of a house. You're even saying in here he's all about his kids. Yeah. And she was like, ask me somewhere in there, like, I mean, everything I had to say about him at that point was like really positive. Like, I think I made it clear that I wasn't like 100% sure this was like the man of my dreams and I was going to spend the rest of my life with him or anything, but I was enjoying the time that I was spending with him at that point. You're referencing that he has two kids and then <clears throat> you don't like that um, because you want to have that experience with somebody else? Is that what I just thought I, I wasn't sure if he was the one that I wanted to be with because he had already like done everything. Okay. Like I was like it would be really nice to kind of like have kids and have my own marriage and all of that stuff. That was never anything I conveyed to him. So she said, you said he's handsome, huh? Did you send her a picture? Mm -hmm. And that's not attached here. Mm -hmm. Is that because what you did? You think from what you deleted? I think it's from when I deleted all my <coughs> photos of his stuff. He's kind of short. <laughs> I mean, I talked to her in a way that I wouldn't like talk to him as like my girl. You know what I'm saying? It's I get it. No, I'm just te I'm like just teasing you a little bit. <laughs> She so brought it up again last night, but she didn't brought like up what? Chris? Case, but she didn't like connect the dots. She was like freaking out with her dad just And she was really was upset. She wanted me to come see her on Saturday because it's his wedding. So weekend. unexpected kind of sort of. Mm -hmm. He had Parkinson's. So kind of but not. You know what I'm saying? It was a mm -hmm. very drawn out thing. Um, but she's having a really hard time with it. I knew she would. And she just like, she's like, can you be at the wake on Saturday? And I was like, I'm going to go to the house. And I didn't tell her that, but I was like, I don't know. I'm, I'll try. And I'm going to go, but I'm not going to tell her until it's like right before I have to be there. And she so what did she reference that? Just is uh, Chris the guy? I'm, I'm more interested. No, she in didn't even ask me if she was just like, she's like, I don't know what's going on. She's like, oh, you can see it. <laughs> oh, okay. you. So oh, you mentioned on. on your text before you were coming that there was other information that you thought of that was important again? Yeah. More info? You know, when we get so <laughs> sidetracked. <laughs> I'll look at this when you do that. And then... I'll show you where it is. Yeah, show me where it is. I'll here. Like, I'll just say... You guys talk a lot. Oh, yeah. She is like my right here. So first she sends me this, and she's not even asking me about him. She's saying he, he looks like her ex. That's when she first brings him up. She doesn't even mention me at that point. I don't even think she realizes it's the same guy, like legitimately. I think this girl is so wrapped up in all the stuff that she's got going on right now that I don't think it's even processing. I mean, you can just tell by the way that she like talk. 
you know, she's all upset because I asked her to mm -hmm. not talk to the media and it happened to be the day that her dad died and I'm sitting here trying to comfort her. Is this your best friend? Yes. This girl is like my whole world. But you're not talking about children or your relationship with Chris or anything like that? No, the only time I ever mentioned him was like that one day. Okay. And I didn't even remember that I even had like said that to her because I just... What's her phone number? Um, 720-425-7330. So I'm not going to call her, but at some point you might want to talk to her. Just so you know, I mean, sooner or later she's going to connect the dots or you're going to tell her, right, if she's your best friend. I'm not going to tell her. <clears throat> if she figures it out, she figures it out. Okay. Uh, if we were going to talk to her, I'd let you know beforehand. Is that fair? Yeah, just so I can give her a heads up. Yep. And she apologized to me because like, she was being kind of crazy last night. <laughs> she was. So tell me about she the was. new info that you remembered. Okay. Um... See right here. Hold on. Uh, she said, look, man, I know you work at Anadarko. He did too. I know he murdered his wife and kids. I know he was a dog. I know you're my best friend. I know you have a good heart. I know that you got it. that guy needs to go to jail and he will. I know you don't want publicity and neither would I. I know that as a witness, if you say anything, it can cause a mistrial. I know you don't want that, neither do I. Fuck the media. I want my best friend here. I never fucking said anything to her about a trial. Okay. So, but see, look, she, she goes, just, she goes. Yeah. I don't even care if you flirted with him or more. I know you had nothing to do with what happened, and I don't care if your job is having an open investigation. I'm not going to ask you a single question, but my pops died, and you're my best friend. Okay. And I said, please stop talking about that. And she said, what do you want, house arrest? And she just keeps saying, my father died. What the fuck? She was not okay last night, and I was just trying to, like, Understandable. mitigate this. Um and I was like trying to calm her down and I said Charlotte I'm trying so hard to be the best friend I can to you right now I said I want to talk to you about that case I didn't say the case I said that case like I wasn't even affiliated with it at all and you need to respect that I'm here for you regarding your dad and you know this and then she's but what's freaking right? out and freaking you out you guys never had a conversation except for this past text messages about Chris and his children. No, that was it. Okay. That was it. That's fine. I mean, because he wasn't really something that I, like, super wanted everybody to know about, and I shouldn't have even mentioned it when she brought up what she had, like, going on sexually with her fiancé, and it it happened, but at that point... You guys are best I, friends, it's understandable. Yeah, see, and she keeps trying to talk about it. She says, if you're not under investigation by the police, I don't care. Why can't you attend your so-called best friend's father's death? It doesn't make sense to me. And all I told her was stop. And, and she just like, her dad. yeah, and she just is like freaking out. And finally, I just told her, you know, getting mad at me isn't gonna bring your dad back. And that is okay. when she chilled. Okay. Well, she kind of went on another rant, but I had nothing to do with Chris. And then she apologized to me this morning for being drunk and sad and angry after dad died. What other new information? <sighs> okay, um, see, we got so much going on I didn't even, I texted it to myself because I can't pretend this. Right. <laughs> you, you, I'm going to make sure before you leave you see Hazel. You need to get some help. I know, I've been asking. Um, oh, so he, he was talking for a few weeks, like he, when you mentioned, give okay. me a time frame. Okay, okay. So he went to North Carolina. When he came back from North Carolina, I was informed sometime either when he was on the trip or when he was like getting back but in that area that they filed for divorce and that um, they were going to put the house up and he for sale. And he was like, she is the one that called the realtor. Because he told me that he had spoke to her when he was in North Carolina about it. And then the next day, she was the one who called the realtor. When you say she, Shanann? Yes. And when you say, the time frame they came back from North Carolina, you don't remember the specific dates, but was like the first or second week of August? Yeah, I, I think I told you guys when they left. I think he left on Tuesday the 31st of July. I do remember you saying that. And I don't remember when he came home. I really don't. 
I don't remember if it was like. So is this a phone conversation or is this a text conversation? No, um, this happened over the phone, and he told me that um, that was when I had said, hey, when you go to North Carolina, I really think you should try to fix things with your wife, and he kept asking, well, what about us, and I was trying to kind of take a step back and see if he would fix things before attempting to pursue things with me, because I wanted to know that if all of these things he's saying, like, yes, we're getting separated, and yes, you know, all of these things that he's saying are happening are happening. I wanted to know that it was like, you were doing this, like you said you were, prior to me coming in your life, and it had nothing to do with me, you know? And so, for me, it was like, I just, I really wanted them to fix it. I would have just, like, left the situation. So tell me why him, Shanann calling a realtor and him mentioning that they were going to be divorced. Why, why do you think it's important? Um, because, so after that he was like, she's the one who called the realtor. And I remember, th I was like, damn, that was fast. Because I knew he told me like we were going to put the house up, but they said, he was like, we didn't know how much to offer for it. And we were kind of trying to find somebody. and. It, like so for the first few weeks that I hung out with him he kind of like dragged his feet on hey this is happening and then after North Carolina he's like yeah she wants to put the house up she's the one that called the realtor and I was like kind of taken back not necessarily at the speed of it given how long he said that they'd been separating but the fact that it, she did it like the day after he supposedly sat down and had a conversation with her about hey do we fix this or do we not fix this relationship so, um, do you remember how many days she was back in Colorado be before leaving? Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Because mm -hmm. I don't remember when they got home. Right. I don't. I'm just trying to get your memory jogged there on that. But so this was, they get home. He had told you in North Carolina that they agreed to, mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. finalized their relationship. Yeah. It's they get home and she immediately wants to sell the house. Yes. And then, um, so I, I mean. I started thinking, okay, well, I know in Colorado, houses sell very fast here. So I was like, what's your plan? You know, and I was like, because you might want to be prepared. And I remember that's when the whole concept came up of, you probably need to start looking for a new place pretty quick. And that was when he was kind of overwhelmed with it. And I told him, I was like, look, like I just moved a few months ago. Um, and uh, I was like, to find a place that was comfortable for me, it was like, it took like a lot of research. And, I and that's when I offered to help. I was like, I'll help you. And he seemed pretty gung-ho about it for like the first week. And he seemed very grateful. And I was putting in work on it. And I was like calling him and kind of letting him know about places. And there really wasn't that many options in Brighton. Um, I found one, I actually texted it to myself before I texted it to him because I was going, I still have that in my phone too. Because um, I found it and it was great, but it was like right at the beginning of my search and I was like, I don't want to inundate him. So you said a week. Do you think you worked on that for a week? No, it, I honestly only probably spent like a few hours over a few days and just trying to like line it up. Just trying it. to think about how many days she had been back while you were working on that. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh. So you said, did you actually work on it for a week straight? No, 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 no. Okay. It was just like a couple days after work, I would just like spend a couple hours if I had time, like at the end of my day, or if I didn't go to the gym and just sit down and, I mean, I can give you a date on one that I worked on because I texted that one to myself. This one. I loved this one. Um, when is this? Saturday, August 11th. That's the day you guys went out? Uh, yeah. To uh, the lazy dog. Yes. Or the two, the two lazy dogs. Yes. <laughs> All right. What else? Um. Yeah. So the reason that this is important is because he, like, up to that point, seemed like. He was all about it, you know, and I was respecting him. I wasn't like, oh, you need to get this, you need to get that. I was like, what city do you want to live in? What side of town is she staying in? You know, how close do you want to be to work? How close do you want to be to your kids? I mean, I asked him everything. I just wanted him to have something that was accommodating for his whole family. 
and he told me that she was probably going to stay in the Frederick area, but he never said for sure. The first time I asked him, he's like, I don't know where she's going to go, but she'll probably stay in this area. And I was like, Chris, if you're going to get an apartment, like, you need to figure that out because the last thing you want is to be like an hour drive from your kids. It's like, you know, you, you got to be close. And so, um, ended up asking him again like a couple days later and that was when um he was like I think she's staying in the Frederick area and I was like okay and that's when I was like started to get details like where and if you guys find my text you'll see it where I'm asking like where do you want to live like how close do you want to be to work those things like you know um did do you care what gym you go to like what are you right. looking for you we know talked and about this previously yeah 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 so the thing was, was he was like super gung ho about it, and then on Saturday, that day, um, I remember being outside with him when this conversation happened, but I don't know where. I don't know if we were like walking into the restaurant or walking to the car, but I like vaguely remember being outside with him, and I was like, he had told me that he wanted to go look at some places the upcoming week. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to go do that on Wednesday. And I was like, um, I asked him, I was like, um, what places do you want to go see? And I was like, did you really like that place that I showed you? Because it was just like super convenient for everything. And it had a little playground and it had a pool. Like it would have been awesome for his kids. And it was cheap. And, um, and so, and it was like close to Frederick. It was like, it was, it was close to the gym. It was close to work. It was close to me. It was close to everything. And it was in Brighton, which is what he wanted. And so um, I was like, did you want to go check that place out? And he's like, yeah, I guess. And he, like, didn't seem sure anymore. And that was the part that I wanted to tell you. I just figured I'd give you all the backstory. Sure. Um, so, so he's so not he, sure about the particular apartment or about even leaving? So he told me that he... Like, he looked at it, and he told me that he thought it was nice, but he didn't really seem like his interest was that peaked. And I was like, well, did you find anything that you really wanted to look at? And he told me, yeah, that he'd found a few, but nothing that really, really piqued his interest. And I was like, well, you might want to get started. And he's like, well, I, I found one, and I asked him, I said, which one is it? Because I think I've looked at, like, every apartment in Brighton, and maybe I'll remember it. And he's like, I don't know, I don't remember the name of it. And he kind of just like disregarded it. And it was kind of strange to me because like the whole week prior, he was like so excited that I was trying to help him because like, he's busy, I'm busy. So I was like, you look, I'll look, let's see if we can try to narrow it down to like four or five spots and then we'll find something that's good for you and your girls. You know, and, and he seemed like very enthusiastic about it like during the week when the conversations first really started ramping up about like you probably got to figure something out because that house is going to sell really fast you know or mm -hmm. at least be prepared and so, so why do you think he was removed or not interested on on your saturday night wherever you guys were i don't know i mean sometimes like i think about these things and i feel like they're all assumptions but at that point like maybe he already knew something that i didn't i don't know but it was just a complete mood change where he just didn't even seem that interested. And I was like, okay. And I was like, well, we don't have to do that on Wednesday if you don't want to. And he's like, no, no, I know I need to get it done. And I was like, all right. Okay. You know, because I wasn't going to, like, force him to do it. If he doesn't want to do it, don't do it. Just say no, you know. And I was like, and for me, I was like, I was just offering to help because it's like, I know what a tedious task it is trying to find a new place to live. Right. Um, what so else? Any other new info? Um, that part where he was just like really unplugged on Saturday, and then there was something else that went with that. Let me just think for a minute. It was um, I didn't write all this down. I just wrote that part down. Yeah, so you do remember mind, so like, much stuff already. Slowly comes <laughs> to me all the time. Well, some of this stuff is just things that you would never think about. And now that I'm like, 
hindsight's 2020. Right. I'm like starting to go back. There was something else that happened on Saturday that had to do with all of this. Think about it for a minute. I'm gonna see if uh, my tech guy has his do that. equipment charged, do that. and we'll get your phone taken care of. Okay. So again, I'm gonna have you sign this. Uh, voluntary consent. Yep. It's the same thing that you signed in Thornton saying that, you know, I didn't threaten you, intimidate you, you have a right to say no. I want you to read the document again. We're going to take your phone, we're going to use um, uh, a program called Celebrate. If you go to your phone store, that's what they use sometimes. They used to do this, they used to move your stuff back and forth. It's the same thing. They're going to take that information and then um, an examiner who is skilled in looking at cell phone data is going to look at it to try to recover the deleted material that we're after. I hope so that they can get The deleted it. material is what I'm after. Obviously. I know it is. I feel so bad that I did that. I didn't even honestly, like, that's not even what I was thinking about. I was just so, did not want, like, any presence from him. Right so anywhere. you're okay with us like, doing just everything? Just take the whole phone. Awesome. Just take it. Because I feel like we've been trying to I'm going to put this, like, all data on here just yeah, for just ease, okay? Needs, so read know. that and make sure you sign it that you understand that we're going to take all the data. Once I have all that stuff, I'll get your phone back to you. Okay? That's okay. I mean, I'm not even going to use it anymore. I'm going to just use this. Okay. I'm going to still get it back to you as soon as we're done. Okay. All right. So okay. next week sometime maybe. Okay. Or the week after or something like that. Somewhere in that time frame, okay? Okay. All right. Relax for a minute. I'll be back in a sec.
So that part kind of seems odd to me, but I'd seen a few things online that were kind of cheap, and I was just like, all right. And he's like, I'm just trying to cut costs. And I was like, that's cool. I was like, how else are you doing that? And it was just out of curiosity. And he's like, well, I decided to get rid of cable. And I was like, okay. And I was kind of taken back by that, too, because he loves sports. Dude, like, lives and breathes football. So I... Uh, I was like, okay, and I was like, that's a good cost to, you know, to cut back on, and he was like, yeah, I think I can watch, still stream sports via a fire stick, and I've heard of those things before, I don't really know a lot about them, um, but he was saying that he had a buddy working on it already for him. Who's the buddy? He didn't say, I didn't ask. Why do you think that's important? that he had all that set up? I don't know. I mean, it made me believe like, that... He, that he was ready to move out? Is that... Oh, that I get what you're saying. Go? Yeah, like he was prepping. It still sounded like he was okay. prepping. I mean, everything he did sounded like he was getting ready for everything to happen. The only thing that I found really peculiar about the whole situation was the fact that he just kind of seemed disconnected about the apartment thing on Saturday, whereas in previous conversations, he was the one who brought it up, and he was the one who seemed really excited about it when I offered to help him do some like legwork on trying to find him a spot for him and his girls. Right. I'll be right back. Okay. So I don't, I don't know who his friend was. It was just weird because sometimes it seemed like some of the things he said, he was still really. A lot of things he said made sense. It still to this day makes sense. And then other things that he said don't make sense at all to me anymore. Or like they changed, you know? Perfect. Well, you know a lot more now. Well, unfortunately, you know a lot more now about terrible things that may have happened that changed the way you're thinking about what he said, too. So, making you think differently about those kind of, that verbiage. Right? So, we, we've talked a lot about a lot of different things. I hope I'm helping you guys. <laughs> you certainly are. I hope so, because I'm so, I don't like having this stuff on the top of my head. It's so hard, and so many days I can tell that my mind is trying to, like, block it all out right now, and I think it's almost like a subliminal, like, coping mechanism, and I'm trying not to. I'm trying to, like think about it so that I can help you guys and I just that's why I So why don't you give yourself a break for a day or two and just live a normal life. Stop thinking about this stuff for a day or two and then revisit it. Maybe that'll help you because you look like you're tired again. I lost <laughs> my job yesterday so that's where that comes from. You can lost your job with the geosciences place as well? Okay. Sorry to hear that. With, I think you mentioned with your skill set that you should be easily employable in another uh, locale. I don't know. I don't know. I hope somebody hires me. I hope people don't see my name on a resume and just not hire me. Well, your name hasn't even made it in the papers yet. Not yet. So, remember you said that you had some locations you could go out of state, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if that's what you're thinking or whatever is going to work for you? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking a lot about all of that. It's just a matter of timing and trying to figure out when to do it. I'm hesitant to do it all too soon. I'm going to have to do it all over again. Tell me the name of the geosciences company. I forget. Tasman. Tasman, that's right. I think I was just so bummed because they told me that they would keep me, and then they called me back and let me go, and I was just like, man. So did they essentially fire you for Pretty lack of much. a better term and that was yesterday yeah they said they let me go because they hired me to do a contract job and now that contract was over it was unfortunate because Anna Darko actually offered to pay me for a while and Tasman said no so I just wish they would have been honest with me in the first place but it is what it is so now you're out looking for a job too. 
I think I'm doing that. It's not even like a priority to me at this point, but it will get dull. With. So yeah, since I need Hazel to help me out with his lease and sell my truck and change my entire life, and hopefully somebody somewhere will give me a decent job and give me a chance and not judge for all of this whole disaster. So that's why. You said Hazel was going was helping you out with uh, some of your lease stuff. Alright, so oh. yeah. when we're here, I think she usually comes in in the afternoon today, so we'll check with her. Hey, I think Matt just went the other way looking for me, but he'll be back eventually. Awesome. <laughs> so he must want this for something. I'm going to charge my phone. I didn't charge the last thing I charged. This one? Yeah. Here. What's this? Oh, this is your, this is the Verizon. Call logs? June thirteenth. From and what date to what date? You want this one back? It's a month. <laughs> Sorry. Are like you good? I don't know. It's a month, so it's probably whatever thirty days was, probably just July fourteenth, I'd assume, to the August thirteenth. You'll see it when you open it up. You'll see it. But it's a month. So my so billing. Can I just month. take this real quick and, and move it off your thumb drive and I'll give you your thumb drive? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. Okay. That's yours. Um, you don't need this back. Um, no, I mean, you can give it back if you want. Yeah, I'll just go download this to my computer real quick. There's, so, I think, so it's a month. It ends on the 13th, and that's why I was saying, when they bill me next month, then mm -hmm. I can give you the 14th and pass that. And I could have given you the 14th now, but because they haven't billed me for it, like, this is in a nice PDF, but the 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 unbilled one is like in this janky Excel format, and you could like manipulate the data. You could I don't I don't so want to give it. What is on here specifically? PDF of your complete phone bill for your cell phone. That ends on August 13th. Okay. Everything right. after that you can. I'm gonna go put this on my phone. Or okay. Go and, on my and my lease agreement is on there, and I told Hazel that you had it. Okay. So okay. I'll, I'll share it with her. her because she needs that. Yep. And I will. then um, my there's also like a computer record of me talking to the Verizon wireless people asking them if they can restore my text and what they had to say about it just so that you guys know that I did the due diligence to attempt to do sure. that. Okay. Um, so those are the three things that are on there. So there are the messages that synced up when you started are on this phone, right? Mm -hmm. So when she started, it, this phone's like two years old. Okay. But when she turned it on, a bunch of deleted messages from Chris that were on that uh -huh. phone synced up with that phone. Okay. So that's the one I want to try to rip. Okay. So we're going to we download this yeah. phone. But this one's coming with context. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So this one's going to be coming with us as evidence. That one okay. will just rip. So she has a phone. Okay. I need you to log into Google. I was trying to figure this out. I don't know. Oh, okay. Mm, that might be an issue. I know. <laughs> I mean, if you guys really can't do it, I'm sure well, you can figure there, out. Well, there's it? another way we can do it, or we can try. Man, I'm usually really good about passwords, but this one. I'm not, a, I'm not an Android guy, so I don't know. I don't know. I never, I haven't used Android phone in like two years. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll have to figure this out. That sucks, but it's okay. I well, mean, there's another There's another thing that we can try. Sorry for nope. the convenience. Did you have a text message on? So when I looked up to, to I mean, I, I Wi-Fi, I think you got a couple more extra. Oh, I got these. Yeah, this came in on my other phone. This was like right okay. when I transferred. Um, so I think your contacts should be, um, connected to iCloud now, so shouldn't lose them. And we can use, we can try and use our down, the machine that we used to download, 
the phones can also transfer. I've fun. never done that, so I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay. I just, that would be so nice because I was looking at these messages and I was like, oh my God, like, don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know, right. don't know, don't know. I mean, again, I'm sure I could figure it out pretty quick if I read the text. Look at them all. Yeah. They're awesome. all different. Okay. And so you would just save me a lot of time and stress. Okay, and then we're keeping this one. Yes. Downloading it and giving it back. Yeah, and okay. then this one I think he only needs one number off of and that one you guys are taking everything. Okay, but we're keeping this phone, right? Yeah. Okay. That's yours. Okay. Thanks. Alright, let me go see if I can transfer the contacts. Do you want the wall charger that goes with it? Um, I'll just put here so I'm forget it, but I don't need it right now. I will be right back. We're in a little bit.
are you doing?
and through all this, you kept going to work, you kept doing your job, you were responsible towards your agency, you informed them about what was going on, you did everything you needed to do. Thinking that way is going to be a little self-defeating. So let's try to take care of what we can take care of and try to build things up for you so that you have the most positive prospects for the future. So I, mean, I just don't even know where to start. Like I have friends that can give me a referral, but what I don't want to do is have my friends give me a referral and then they see the news and then they are very taken back. And I think some people would be kind of upset if I asked them for a referral prior to the news breaking. You almost feel like waiting till it breaks to like try to approach people. Well, have you tried thinking about like a temporary agency or someplace? You know, like Kelly Girls? I mean, I know they don't pay well, but something like that. I and I know it's probably well, well below your skill level. I don't know. I'll probably go back to the oil field at some point. Most of those people are a bunch of societal outcasts, so it might work. Were you happy there? Huh? Were you happy when you worked there? Sometimes. <laughs> yeah? Sometimes not, but... But it wouldn't be torture to go back to that. No, that's all I know. Well, it sounds like that's a good fallback, at least until all this gets resolved a little bit. I mean, if people hire me. It's already got a job out there in this because I'm a woman. Yeah. I don't think you can do it. Well, you have a history that shows otherwise. And that goes a long way. So I understand that I, um, Agent Quebec has given, has copied your lease. So I'll talk with your landlord and see where we can get, um, as far as getting you out of that. And then I have a list of Finally, I have a list of referrals for you for therapists. Thank you. And Did they approve it? They haven't yet, but they said they should by the end of the day or early tomorrow. They just have to go through a procedure. You know, it's it's the government. Everything has a procedure. So just go through the procedure. But you could get started in the meantime calling the therapists and just doing little interviews with them. You know, like we talked about, just making sure that it's somebody that you feel confident with and that you feel comfortable you can say anything to. Understood. And then I would also ask them, just because I know you have a hard time sleeping and I know that this bothers you all the time, that you could wake up in the middle of the night having some issues, you want to also talk to the therapist about what kind of after hours support you could get. You know, do they have a an emergency line or somebody that you can talk to if it is 4 o'clock in the morning and you haven't been able to sleep all night. And if you need some help making those phone calls, Bobby Joe and I can help you. Thank you. Okay. So I'm just doing everything you need to do every day. There's nothing else to do. I know you're feeling pretty overwhelmed and it just seems like it's getting piling up. Piling up. Yeah. And you know that we are here for you. Okay. So you do have support. Yeah, the media came to my house, left the letter. Like old crinkly envelope and a piece of journal paper that was all crumpled handwritten and chicken scratch. Like, oh, I went to today's show, you should call me. It's like, why would I do that in yeah. the first place? But even then, like, the lack of professionalism that my family is seeing from these news reporters is absolutely ridiculous. And you're just ignoring them. Yeah. So I mean, they don't have good. my phone number yet. They still haven't found it. Well, that's good. And you're not at your home. No. And your dad's pretty good about saying no. And walking away. So yeah, they're contacting everybody but so many people reach out to me. So the media called me today. And you know, all I have to say is that they don't know anything about it and they don't have any comment. 
or I told them, just like, I don't want to talk to you, or yeah, no work. comment, or you don't know, and I was like, you don't have to talk to them, it's like, you don't have to call them back, you don't owe me anything, I just send me love and support, I haven't said anything else. I don't really know what else to say. No, it's good. But I had to do it with a lot of people, and it wasn't something I wanted to do. I was trying to avoid that situation, but mm -hmm. I've just been like inundated with phone calls and texts about it. So I was like, all right, talk to my dad, and I was like, do we do damage control on the rest of these people so that they're prepared or not? And he was just like, yeah, we'll do it. So I just called like my closest friends, and I didn't say anything about the case or that I was a witness. I just told them. Hey man, I need you to do this for me. Like me at the your door asking questions, just tell them no comment. Please take all the pictures that you have of us off of social media and I love you and I'm safe. <sighs> and I didn't break any laws. Well that's good. Well, because they start freaking I know. out. They start like, what did you do? And I'm like, no, yeah. it's okay. You just help me, please. So yeah. I'm so far. Well, when we work. talked about that, how you believe that your friends and your family would, at least for a while, be supportive of not knowing anything, just knowing that you needed their, their love and support. I mean, it's been four days that they've been searching for me, and they haven't found me yet. I'm <coughs> sure they will eventually, but I think four days is it's not a bad start. I think you're right, and... And they still haven't found my phone number. And you do have a plan. You know, you have the plan to just... Say no to hang up, don't answer the door, don't answer the phone. You'll have caller ID so you know if it's your family or your friends. Mm -hmm. And you have a voicemail that you can they can leave a message and just say what they want if it's family. Everybody else you can just ignore it. You don't have any obligation to talk to any of them. Right. That's pretty much where it's at. It's just like one task at a time every day to something else. Mm -hmm. But here and they got my phone and so hopefully they can get what they need. And Good. Hopefully it will help. I'm just trying to do everything I can but at this point it's like I don't even know what to do anymore. I just like really want to just start taking care of myself and not everybody else and I feel like it's just not happening. Well Vicky, that's all you do have to do right now to take care of yourself. There's really no one else that you have to take care of right now. You know, let your friends, let your family take care of you. Let them offer you support. You're doing everything that we've asked of you. And you just need to now take care of yourself and get yourself through this. And let your family support you and let your friends support you. You don't have to take care of them. You've done what you need to do for them. You've told them, I'm in a situation in which I just need you to, to support me and conditionally support me. And that's all the taking care of them that you need to do right now. There'll be plenty of time for the rest of your life to take care of people. Right now, you just need people to take care of you. thinking at all about suicide or hurting yourself? No, I'm not thinking about any of that. Okay, good. And you promised me you'll let us know if you start thinking that way? I text you guys in the middle of the night every time I'm sure you know. Okay, so you will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, because we want to be here to help you. We don't want this to turn into another tragedy for you. Understood. I didn't know what time you were coming in today, and I have another appointment that okay. is coming in. So I'm going to do an agent go back to that too. That's okay. So that you're not sitting in here all by yourself? Okay. Because <laughs> it's not a pleasant room to be hanging out no, in. No, no, no. This is awkward. They have my phone, kids' phones are me, and I'll just sit here. But <laughs> oh, well, actually, I don't have to go and find out for you. We're trying to get your phones to work. But you don't remember your Google account? I should, to be honest with you. It's like programmed into my, my 
the two places I use it all the time, and so I don't have to remember. So the only way to transfer your contacts from that phone, from your iPhone to that phone, is with your Google account. I mean, if I need to, I know. We're gonna we're gonna print your. We downloaded them. So we have the file available. We can print it for you. Can you do that? That yep. would be nice. But we Fun. can't. We can't move the phone because. That's okay. Your so your phone is essentially you won't be able to download apps or anything like that without your Google account. Okay. So, but you do know it. I do know my Google account. Yeah. No, if I did, then we wouldn't be in this. But you know, you <laughs> do you have it somewhere else? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure I can okay. like reset it and figure it so out at some point. So, just making sure you have a phone that's going to be usable. Yeah, I mean, I can make incoming and outgoing okay. calls at this point. That's all I really care about. So he's going to download the messages that um, uploaded <laughs> when you redid your phone. So that's take it. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, there's not much on there. Yeah, it's should, pretty short. Should take just a few minutes and then we're done. They're all like they're not even on the right date. Some of them. It's really weird how they're time stamped. Like there's one on there on the 13th, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that that was a conversation. Between you and Chris? Yeah, but it was like not that same day. The like, 13th was a Wednesday. Or the 12th. I don't, I don't know. All right. It's we'll, not we'll in the right on. spot. They're okay. not in the right spot. Maybe the date on the phone is messed up. I don't know. I'll look at the phone, and we'll see. Well, it's out of order. Like, unless I'm confused, but I'm pretty sure... The last text on there between me and him was actually probably somewhere in the middle of the text. So when you say out of order, like? Like it's saying, oh, hey, this happened on like Tuesday, but really I'm like, I'm pretty sure that that happened at a different point. Okay. All right. So it's only about if one. it's critical, we'll talk about it. I don't um, think. I need to look at the text first, though, before I know. Of course. Okay. Understood. You probably want to go. Yes. <laughs> you have your next, yes, want to. You have your next <laughs> client coming in. Um, Thank you for your time. I appreciate oh, it. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. And I'll send you those therapists and then, you know, just get started and giving them a call and saying who you think is going to be a good fit for you. So at least we can have it ready so that when they can come, says yes, you can get started right away. Thank you. And if you need any help, make those calls. You, know, you start making them and realize you just can't do it on your own. Just call me about the or I can just um, call with you and, and be there with you while you make those calls. Thanks. Okay. And if you want to, try to give the guy from CDLA a call. And talk with I him. will definitely call him. That is the, on my priority list at this point. I just... not on the top of it. <laughs> yeah. No, I understand that. I understand. <laughs> and I'm sure he'll say it depends on what your contract said. So if you have your contract with them where your dad can get to it, it's probably at your house. Um, if you can have it where your dad can get to it or something to get for you to send a hand, that's probably be really helpful. I have it. It's all remote. It's all electronic. Oh, okay, good. Cool. I don't have to go back to the house at all. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Thank you so much, Hazel. And call me or text me anytime, okay? I'm for sure. Okay. Thanks, awesome. Jason. All right. I'm going to see where he's at. What else? Anything else over here that you can think of or want to address or you remember? Sometimes I feel like I remember stuff, but it's like vague, you know? Like I'm like, I can't, I don't know. I don't and not know. everything's important, obviously. Yeah. I know I tried to get you to remember as much as I could because a lot of the stuff that you have told me over the last couple conversations is, is relative and it's important. And I appreciate you going back and looking at uh, calendars and doing all that stuff. But stop thinking about this for a while. I think we've got the everything. I don't think you can remember anything more. We've had a lot of conversations about this case. So just give yourself a break. Go have dinner with one of your friends. And have a... Nobody knows who you are. Not yet. So even better to make that happen. Whoever you trust in, like Charlotte or whoever your other friends are, go have a normal night and not sit at your house and dwell on this. It might do you wonders, okay? Are they going to post anything if they don't find out anything? Because I'm just surprised they haven't. About what? Yet. About me. 
I mean, it's been four days. You know and that they been, are dying to find out who you are. I know. They haven't even reached my inner circle yet. It's been four days. You got good friends. Yes, I do. So be I, thankful for that. And I, we've we've had this conversation. Is it? You know, you said you're thinking about going somewhere else. Go. I don't know if, when I'm going to do that. Can you guys help me with a name change? You like do that? I'm serious, please. So. I can't do anything for you. It, that's a legal process. It's um, it's really not that difficult. Um, there's just paperwork that needs to be filled out. Uh, I think your best bet would just be to call uh, and maybe ask an attorney to help you with that, or seek advice from. I don't even know who you call, um, honestly. But people change their name all the time when they get married. Um, so it's probably the county clerk, um, but it's going to, I think it would have to be at a state level to make a name change. But I don't know specifically how to do that. I don't. Does that like become public because that would defeat the purpose? I don't know. Um, I know you, it can be done, I just don't know how to do it and I wouldn't even know who to reach out. I mean I could find out and let you know. But I don't know how to do it. Um, you know, like the witness protection thing is very, very rare. I'm not expecting <clears throat> that. I'm, yes. He's not going anywhere. He's not going to hurt you, all those things. No, so. I'm not expecting that. I just, I don't even know. Like, sometimes I'm like, I just want to do it now, and I'm like, why? Because if, but they, if you go to another I state. I feel like it would defeat the purpose. You know, a part of me, I just, I keep getting really scared that it's going to be really hard to find good employment for like a really long time, like years and years. I feel like people are going to But if, if you go to another state, this is not headlines in that state. You realize that. I mean, I, I, yeah, I do. And if I do a background on you, you're a good employee. It doesn't come up that you dated Chris Watts and you're involved in this case. It doesn't work that way. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But, I mean... I don't know. I just feel like this is just like one of those things that if it goes to court, it's going to be like huge. Well, I mean, it's national right now, but it's not like, you know, it's not the theater event that happened in Aurora seven years ago, right? That everybody in the world knew about. It's not that. So, I certainly for you, you're under the microscope and you, you're feeling it. And nothing can anybody can say can change that for you so I get it but I don't I think you need to just step back for a minute take a breath figure out what you're going to do obviously you have some serious very serious decisions to make over the next you know couple of months I'm trying to find out how to do all this without spending all my savings <laughs> just saving up for a house and I'm just like damn it but at least you have savings to fall back on, too. A lot of people can't say that. Yeah, that is true. Uh, well, since they fired me, hopefully I can get unemployment for a little while so I can, like, get my mind right and go to therapy and then go back to work at that point because I am not ready. So Going back to work might be a good thing for you, though, then you don't sit and think about this every day. I know. I agree with that. But finding a job is the big task. You know, that's why I told her, she's like, why don't you reach out to some of your friends and you know, let's do about a job. It's like, well... They don't, know, who, they they don't, don't know who, what's going on. No, they don't now, but what I don't want is somebody to give me a reference and then they find out what's going on. I think that's really disrespectful. I think you reach out specifically to an employer, not a person. Other... I don't know anything about the auto industry, but other companies like who you work for. I have this skill, and I'd like to come to work for you. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about reaching out to some old employers. I've always been a really good employee of those people. Everybody, when I leave, is pretty disappointed. This is the first time I've ever been terminated from a job. So Sometimes that can be tough to get over, too. It's hard. This was like the dream job. I feel awful about all of this. Like, I wanted that for so long to get out of the oil field. I was so tired of living on oil rigs. It's such a rough life. It's like, I just want to be in the office and work in environmental for an oil company. And I finally got it. And all this happened. Well, you have that skill set now, so maybe you can move back in I hope so. We will see. Um, I forgot what else was going 
Are you guys? Am I in trouble because I deleted his text? You're not in trouble. I didn't know what was going on at no. that point. So, <laughs> I know if, is there, does that cause question? Of course. Of course it does. It does. Uh, there is, but is it criminal? No. Is there concern that you're hiding something? Potentially. That's why I want them, or I wouldn't be asking for them. I know. And I'm you've been to give up, you guys you've that. been upfront with me uh, about everything. I don't have, I don't have a concern that, that, you know, you ever told Chris. I don't want you, you know, go kill your wife, no, or no. get rid of your kids, or I don't want to date you if you have kids. None of those things no. that ever came out of your mouth. We've talked about that. Yeah. So, but until those text messages that are deleted. Um, are there, you know, and all that. It's just speculation. But it, it's kind of like, eh, why did you do that? And I get your excuse. I understand what you're saying, that on Tuesday you re realized who this man was and what he had done. You didn't want him to be part of your life anymore, so you got rid of it. I didn't even want to see it in my phone. It was, like, freaking me out, because I remember I had, like, deleted them, and then he sent me another text, and then I deleted that one, too. Right. Because I was like... I don't want to deal with this. By the way, when you're looking through those texts, look for his ABC phone for that one conversation we had where he screenshotted me what he did on Monday. You remember that? Mm hmm Yeah. And you said it, it, that's his Anadarko phone. Uh-huh. Okay. And that should be the only, like, recent. Like, there's probably stuff, if you guys are able to pull up from way, way back, that we talked but <laughs> nothing. The thing we talked about was him proving that he went to the oil field. That he went to work. That he went to work that morning yes. at whatever site he was supposed to go to yes. to check on the release. So that'll be in there. Release. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Um, and then, I don't know, am I allowed to like address my friends and tell them, please, no comment to the media? I mean, I haven't been telling them anything else. I, don't know. I would not talk with anybody about any of this case. Except, I, I mean, I know you've talked, you need to talk to a, a therapist and you need to talk, I'm sure you're talking to your dad. To some extent. I mean, closest person. Not, well, when he's not in here for this, I don't tell him about this. I tell him I'm coming down here, but he doesn't need to know anymore. He's so strange. You're an adult. You made some decisions that caught you in a bad situation. But there's nothing wrong with you talking to somebody. I just wouldn't go into details. No, I haven't even been telling people but I'm a witness for it. Certainly, anything. your best friend, I mean, if I was you, I'd be confiding in my best friend, like, hey, this is what's happening in my life and I need help. Is there anything wrong with that? No. I mean, that's about as far as confiding has gone with me telling her about some guy that I was hanging out with, but that was like way before any of this. Yeah, and you need support right now, too. So, you do, there is no. We're not, you're not in trouble, there's no charges against you, you're simply a witness. I just don't want to like get in trouble for like talking to like my dad or like About asking what? their friend for help. Well, I mean like well my dad already knows, you know right. what I'm saying. There's nothing to get in trouble for. Okay, I don't know how that works, that's what I'm asking, I'm <laughs> yeah. like I don't, there's, there's just <laughs> one more thing I don't need on my plate because I right. don't, oh my god. You're not, you're not um, in trouble. And talking to your friends and family about what's going on isn't going to get you in trouble. Okay. I don't even want to talk to my friends about it. I don't even want anybody to know. I mean, they're going to find out, but I figure the reason that I think I'm staking out from the media as long as I have been is because nobody knows anything. And because my inner circle is really awesome. Maybe. I don't know. They haven't even Or they that. just... Because... You're not on social media? At all. But right. I mean, I eliminated all of that. Right. I, like, even had the ability to, like, go through. I went and found everybody I knew that had any public posts, and it was just like, this needs to be cleared. It's all gone. Right. So, you've made it very difficult for them to find you. Do I think eventually that oh, at some point they are going to find you? Sure, of course. You think they're going to find out where I'm staying at? I think that would be really tricky. I don't know. I, you haven't even told me where you're staying. So Nobody and knows. I don't know how it's connected to you or your family. So, I mean, if it's in your family's name, certainly it wouldn't be that hard to figure it out. So, well. if that, you know, there's ways to find out where people are staying, but they're limited. I mean, unless somebody, somebody knows about this place that talks to them. Nobody. So. Nobody. All right. I All right. Let me check on this.
Yeah, let me check on this phone. Oh yeah, that's right. I was like, I'm not ready to go. I'm I know you're ready to go. go. <laughs> so he's printing the, huh? your contacts. I'll be back in a minute. There's those. And he's still messing with your phone. Just give, me, give me a few minutes, okay? Yes. Back in a minute. Did you sign this? Yes. It should be good. There it is. Cool. All right. Do you want a copy of that? Oh, uh, sure. That would be fine. Back in a minute.
right. One more question for you. Yeah. Um, I have jury duty on September 17th. Is that something that I can do given the fact that of I'm course. like mid in this mess? Yep. Okay. So just answer their question. They're going to ask you a bunch of questions. Answer them truthfully. Um, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't avoid it. But I just didn't know. If have you ever gone into your duty? Uh, I was supposed to go once and they didn't need me, but I just wanted to like double check. I didn't. No, know it, it has no bearing on what's going on in this. Okay. So you're right. I think you still trying to get your phone to download. Give me a minute. The restroom. Yeah, I need to. Like leave my stuff in here. Yep. Come back.
just having a bad day. Okay, can you show me the messages that downloaded? I'm going to take photographs of them because the device that we were using doesn't want to work. I don't know. Oh, for those? The messages that came from Chris that you said showed up on the phone? Yeah, please. <coughs> I don't think any of the ones from the Anadarko phone came me, but I don't know the number. Okay. I didn't see it. Maybe they can give me that number. We can check that one too. Um, I can probably get it real quick. Show me the ones that you think came from him, though. Is it mine? Oh, yeah. No, he's mine. Just give me a sec. Boom, right there. So I, I am going to take photographs of these in lieu of uh, downloading it with this. Well, we just screenshot them and send them. Well, but there's no way to do that. No, you because show right you, here. this isn't hooked up to Wi-Fi or anything, is it? No, but I'm saying... It's oh, I see what you're saying. It'll come in clearer. You can watch me do it, is what I'm saying. You yeah, and screen, then you want to... Shout them and then text them to you right now. Yeah, uh, or you can email them to me. I'll just send them to you right now while we're here. Okay, that's fine. Okay. You know what's scary? I read this one. This is back in June 27th. It's like when we first started talking. And look at him. Thought loyal, truthful dedicated, doesn't play games, it just makes me so sad to read mm. this and think like... So are these some of the ones that you um, deleted? I deleted everything that he sent me. But these are just old, like look how old. And was there any from those dates? Yes. So look, like these 627, 629, and these are old and then they seem to be... See, and then we're missing the second and the third. And then there's the four. Okay, so there's a lot of messages. Kind of. That but then, like, yeah, then there's no fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth. And then there's the ninth, but it's only one text. And then the seventeenth, one text. Like and you guys text how many times a day? All the time. I bet you guys have hundreds of messages okay. that you need to recover. But yes, so here's the eleventh. But look, there's only one from the eleventh. Can I just see what he said? Yeah, in yeah, days? yeah. And then the only text I think might be out of order, might, is the one at the very end. I just wish they were more complete, and I don't understand why they're coming in in bits and pieces. Like, what's causing that? So the tenth. Oh, you went to you went to the Rockies game. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see him that day. I was with my friends, and I stayed with me that Okay, so this one's on Sunday night. Yeah, that's at right. At four oh seven PM. What's he talking about? Pounding fruit? Is that you or him? That's him. Talking. Oh, so he was talking about that, that birthday party he was gonna go mm -hmm. to. Whoever I was hosting it, I don't remember like he told me the name once, but Jeremy? Sure I forgot. I don't even remember to be honest with you. Like the only names that I remember very well is Nick and Mark. Those are the only two that I could be like, Oh yeah, like I could tell you like maybe a little Those bit are his friends. Those people. Yeah. Okay. Um, but he went to the birthday party and he said, oh, this guy always barbecues. And then he was saying, oh, he didn't barbecue. So he was saying he had fruit and asparagus. Um, yeah, didn't do any smoke barbecue okay. at the time. He did hot dogs. So he was saying he avoided that. He was like trying to eat healthy. So this is the final one. This um, is the one. I don't know if this is in order. I'm not sure exactly what this is referring to or I think this one at the bottom is oh my god that's absolutely did ridiculous they would freak out that do you remember when I told you like I was always trying to like incorporate his kids and stuff I mean even if it wasn't like directly like me and him but just like I was always thinking of cute stuff when I'd see stuff and I was like oh my god little girls would like that I would show him and I found this box of Lucky Charms that was the Unicorn Lucky Charm. Okay. And I thought they were really cute and I texted it to him and I was like, do your little girls know about these because they're awesome? And I was like, little stuff like that. So and that's I don't think that that's the 13th because I don't think I talked to him that day. What day was the 13th? I can't it's remember. Monday. Was it Monday? I think. I gotta look. Cause I, can't. I think it will, no, well then maybe these are in order. Monday was the day I think that I sent that text. Yes, that's Monday morning at 2.44 p.m. 
So that's an afternoon Monday. Does that sound right? That was at work when I texted it to okay. So that fits. Okay, so then it is in order. So it is in order. So and this, this makes sense. Because that's Sunday, right? That's Sunday. Okay, so they're so they're in order. They're just missing a whole So it's he's been he's basically saying he's still at that barbecue. Barbecue and that fits. Okay, perfect. All okay. Right. Good. So so no. So then this one is in the right place. Yep. I was thinking eight thirteen was Tuesday, and I'm like, I don't think you know. I had very pleasant conversation on Tuesday. You want to screenshot all those to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's start with and that. then How do you I turn this off, but oh, this is also weird. You like ninja chop it. <laughs> oh, I think that works. Okay, so that takes us down to six twenty nine. So then I'm gonna scroll up to six thirty. Ninja chop. Interesting. It's old. Old school. I have to do a scouts or comments and submission in my house last night. <laughs> I did not like it. I was like, this is scary. But it's cool. I got to go for it, so I'm also going to go back. Okay. So, while you're doing that, let me ask you about the text with you in Charlotte. Yep. You talk about children and he's got his own kids and that makes you kind of uncomfortable because you'd like to have your own family. It, it, put that in context for me. Does that is that a fair statement the way I'm saying it? I mean, I guess. That was never anything I like said to him though. Okay, that's what I want to know. Did you ever say anything to him never, about like... Never. Um, anything about his kids being a problem? Anything about his wife being a problem? Never. Never. Mm -hmm. I always try to be so inclusive with them. And even when her, with her, when I was talking to her, it wasn't that his kids were an issue. It was just this man already has a life. Should I go build my own, you know, with somebody who hasn't done that yet? And then she was the one that was saying, you know, I was engaged once and it didn't work and now I'm engaged again and she's trying to tell me like it doesn't matter like I'm on my second time of going through this and she's like I love this man very very much and she was saying like he's not gonna love you less because he's already been through marriage once and been separated and already had kids like he's not gonna those references were never made to him though about never, children. Never. So Charlotte, that's who you were talking with. Yes. Did you one time tell me Charlotte's a lesbian? No, she's engaged. Okay. <laughs> you were you talking about one of your friends that might have been a lesbian at some point? That's not the case. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't. You you never said that about any of your friends that I inquired about. I don't think okay. so. I don't think so. <laughs> I think on the first day we <laughs> talked. With your dad there, we had I inquired about Charlotte. Um, yeah, you asked me about Charlotte and eHarmony, and I like went through right. my text and I was like, "What is he talking about?" And I couldn't find it, so I was wondering if maybe somebody like referenced both of those two, but not in together. Okay, I'm wondering if that's where that came from. So Charlotte is your friend; she's your closest friend. Yeah, you guys have this conversation, but it never went anywhere besides her and you. Yeah, never I would never mentioned it to Chris. He never said anything about your kids or his kids, pardon me, damaging your guys' relationship. No. Or no, no. nothing like that. Never. And I mean, and even in that, it wasn't like I, I never said his kids were a problem. It was just like he already has a life. Like, I don't know about right. that. Right. So, in light of what's occurred, though, what I'm trying to make sure is that there was never a conversation that you guys had that he might have thought that you um, were saying, I can't be with you if you have kids. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be with him if I couldn't. Okay. So I'm just that. making 100% sure that those... I promise you. Okay. Like, well, I really want you to get both these texts because all the stuff I've been telling you will, like, okay. think of. And I hope we can. <laughs> I haven't been very lucky with your phones yet. There's uh, been nothing but a pain. So this one's coming with me. Okay. I think... Jeez. I I'm gonna, some of these might be duplicates, but whatever, I'm gonna send these to you. Um, 
No, that was kind of something between me and her. And it wasn't even really the kids. It was that, like, he'd already been married before. And I was just like, I don't know if I, like, am in a long-term relationship with this guy. Is that something he would eventually want? Because that's something, like, I would eventually want. You know? I just, so uh, your concern was more about his prior marriage than his children? I guess. I wasn't, honestly, I wasn't really that worried about him at that time. Like, if you read the majority of those texts, like, it's very, very flattering to him and all the many things that I have to say about him. It was just that I wasn't, like, 100% committed to him yet. I mean, I was monogamous with him. I wasn't seeing any other men. But I wasn't, yeah. like, hey, this is the guy I want to spend the rest of my life with. And part of the reason that I was uncertain, I mean, yeah, he'd already built a life, but honestly, like, he wasn't out of the marriage that he was already in. Right. So, I mean, I'm not going to go tell the whole world, like, hey, I've got this guy, and, you know, I'm going to take in his kids, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do that, and it wasn't because I had any problems with them. It's just, he was married. Okay. Um, I know the context of that text now, like, looking at it looks so bad. You have to look at it from the perspective that I'm looking at. Yeah. And how it could be misconstrued or made out to sound something another way. That's why I wanted to give you the opportunity to say what it really means. Okay. No, I don't mean any harm towards those kids. I always thought they were so cute when he showed me those pictures. He was all about them. You know, and not only that, but it's like once you guys get those texts, you will see like there is not very much mention of his children. And if there is mention of his children, it's always like cute stuff where it's like, hey, you should show them this, or hey, this apartment's great for them, or you know, what do you think about beds? And you know, like they, those little girls like remind me of me and my little sister. They're like the you same age. Right. Yeah, I mean, like it was so cute. Like he would call his little daughter, the younger one, CZ, he'd call her Rampage. He's like, she's wild. And it used to just make me smile because my little sister was totally Rampage. <laughs> And it just was kind of like spot on, you know, and so like, it just kind of made me think like, okay, these guys are going through a divorce at the same age that I was at when my parents went through a divorce. And it's like, how did I handle that? You know, and I tell them like, you know, this is what happened when my parents separated and we were this old. And just try to like give him a reference because I gave it to him. Right. Okay. Um... I mean, but just because I, I care about the, him and I care about his kids and and all of that doesn't mean that I'm ready to turn around and like commit Did everything. Did he ever to say anything like that? Like, do I have to get rid of my kids or no. do I, you know? This shocked me just as much as I think it shocked the rest of the world. All of it. Like, he lies so much now. I go back and think of all this shit and I'm like, it's lies. Everything that they knew about him was like lies. I mean, his friends let him stay the night at their house. He even fooled them. It's not just me. He lied to everybody. He had all of you fooled. And everybody stood up for him. His friends stood up for him. I really thought she left. I was like, let her fucking go. You know, she'll come back in a day. She'll be all right. Let her cool down. She'll be here. It'll be okay. You know, like, how do we convince? Like, I think she's just upset. And then, and then. Never would I guess. I mean, even now, when I go back through this stuff that I'm like, it doesn't make sense, you know, or it like seems a little off, that stuff still doesn't send a red flag to me like, hey, this guy's going to murder his family. Sure. Yeah. I don't think there was any, you didn't have any indication, and by all accounts, it doesn't seem like anybody did. No. Like, I just, like, you know, sometimes I like, I don't have to think what that man is thinking because, like, you don't know, you know, but it's like, how long has his brain been, like, shifting to this para this paradigm shift where he feels the need to do this? It's like, I just don't believe that it's something that just happens in a day or two days. I don't think it happens in two months. I think that this is something that takes a very, very long time develop and I don't right so that scares you when you look back at it yeah because 
hindsight, like, I think about it, and I'm like, he could have had that capacity to do that whether I was in his life or not. He could have had the capacity to do that, maybe not even just to them. It could have been me. It could have been our coworkers. I mean, the more I think about it, I mean, I think, I think a lot of people are gonna probably assume that I was the catalyst for his movement, but I don't think, you know, not me, like instructing him, but him deciding to do that because he had me in his life and because he was so like infatuated with what we had going on. But, you know, like I try to put the, the reason to it at the end, like why would you wipe out your family to be with me? Like it doesn't, it doesn't like compute. It's like, how would that go? Like, hey, my family just disappeared, and you think that I'm gonna just not be concerned about that? And not only that, like, he was so about those little girls, and I always try to, like, push him to do that. Like, I told you, like, there'd be days where, where, like, he would want to come over to my house after work. I'd be like, no, like, go hang out with your kids. Your kids are home. Like, that was me. It wasn't even him that was me pushing that. And he would go do it, you know, and he spent time with them, but he was never like, oh, I don't want to hang out with them. He'd just be like, can I see you for a few hours? And I'm like, if your kids are awake, go hang out with your kids, you know, if they're asleep and you want to talk, you call me, but don't do that while they're up. Like, spend time with them. And, and, and I just, oh my God. And that, and that, that is the part that I have, like, the hardest part swallowing, where it's like, why would you take them out? to spend time with me, like, it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit at all, mm -hmm. you know, I But you said he was infatuated with you. But even then, if he's so all about me, and I support him being with his kids, you would think that he would want to do what would make me happy. It's a good point. And so maybe what that's would make me happy <laughs> was him hanging out with his with kids. His kids. Mm -hmm. It's in text, it's in phone conversations. Okay. I mean so that's what saying that doesn't we'll look at it. It doesn't I that one particular context in that just it's so open kind of an interpretation and whether or not you said it, that's why I wanted to address it in particular. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's nothing like that in our tires. I can tell you that right now. Never. Did you send those? Yeah, I'm working on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> How'd you ever get any work done? You get sidetracked. I actually got a lot of work done. I'm just teasing you. It was a lot easier in the web field than it was in the other field, so. Uh, 
Oh, I don't really, I can't even like bring myself to like watch most of that okay. stuff. I will like scroll through the headlines if they look different than what I uh, previously like knew about the investigation. Again, I'm just looking for my name so that sure. I know when it happens. So <coughs> that I can deal with that. But other than that, no, I don't. Um, I never actually watched that video. Okay. I don't really like. Have a hard time like looking at him now. It's kind of the same thing. Like when I deleted the text, like I saw his mugshot, and I like looked at it the first time I saw it, and it scared me. And now when I see it, I just like move past it because. I find it to be, I don't get it, did I just send it? <laughs> I don't know how to work this new phone now. Attached? One. I think some of these are repeats, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. As long as I have them all, that'd be great. I think you do. everything then it's just easy I get it back to you okay so the examiner that's going to look at it uh, she comes back in early next week um, and I'll try to corral her to do that as early as possible so we can download your phone and then get it returned to you
Okay. 720. Are you just reading those? I haven't seen these Look for his own Darko stuff so then you can get out of here. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, they, they have to know. Do they know what you said yet? No. 